Oh, we get Buddy Pranav. Wow. That's cool. It's not going to be easy. Buddy is coming for me. But at least we're in position and that should be good content. He doesn't want any marshals, eh? I'm still going to play extremely solid. What's a new way people play here? Like h6 and then... Oh, I've had this against him in some offhand blitz game. And he had some quick knight h2 and f4, I think. So I need to be aware of that. Okay, maybe... Maybe it wasn't them. I don't know. This is just, you know, a slow maneuvering game. Uh, so that should, like in general, suit me pretty well. Should I trade or bishop b7? Bishop b7, knight f5. Knight e5 maybe. Yeah, that actually looks okay. Or maybe it's just going to take another f3. Well, he didn't. Threatening knight e4. f4, I can go knight c4. So it goes f3. So if I go c5, yeah, c5 looks fine. Just want to shut this bishop out of the game. Bishop d5, I think I take, take, and then knight c4. And then I should have some, some counterplay. Also bishop d5, b4 is an option. And then go take on on uh, on uh, b2. I kind of like that better, actually. Bishop f2. Can't I just break open the center now? I mean, he can go f4, e5, but he's playing without... He's playing without the bishop at the moment. So I feel like the position should be pretty good for me. Is queen c8 clever here? Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking of 94. Yeah, 94 should just be good. But it's complicated. I think now queen g4. So what he's gonna do? Yeah, so I was thinking that I'd go for some kind of player. But I'm not so sure. It's maybe turning into the excite kind of position I didn't really want against him. Oh, he's got... Yeah, I got rook e2, then rook d2. Now I have to... Now my queen is out of play, and then... That's pretty dangerous. Still might be fine, though. A takes. Should I go for the rook? No, I have to go bishop c8, I think. Maybe I go for the rook exchange now. I 
This is so complicated. May just be lost. to train the rooks oh my fucking god I just missed this yeah now I'm lost for sure <sighs> it's annoying escaping all these games and then getting crushed by buddy Where's the knockout? Oh, B3? Oh, and then... Then he wants Rook D2. Very nice. It's really pretty. Yeah, Rook D2. And King E7, Bishop C5 is mate. Well done, well done. Really... Yeah, that was a good game. Uh, I just got crushed. Nothing more to say. Let me see. D5. Oh, I should go D4. D4 and then this, yeah. Then I'm just winning. It's all about this, and now my bishop is active as well. And then after what happened... Yeah, queen d2 was just a blunder. Rook f1, rook bd8, takes... Rooks... Yeah, now I'm just lost. Unfortunately. The only chance was this. Also practically speaking. That sh one sh I should have done. But yeah, this was like what I was looking at here was FG6, and then this is still pretty dicey for me. Uh, but here, rook e1 to give a check, king f2, and then f5. He takes bishop e6, and might be surviving. So, Alireza, Hikaru, and Buddy Pranav on 9.5. Wow. What a choke. But, he did what he needed to do. Let's see who ends up on top. Uh, second Title Tuesday choke in one day? Yeah. It's pretty bad. Game against Wesley, I just... I had seven and a half, and... I, um... Choked really, really hard in that game, and now I'm beat. I'm beaten by a streamer, a fashion designer, and a kid. But to be honest, I should stop talking before I absolutely overdose on copium here. Uh, but to be honest, like, I really, really, really didn't deserve to 
to win either of these tournaments because I was just in a food coma the whole day and not playing well. But I was nevertheless hoping that I would Let me just get the final standings here. Okay. So Hikaru won. Congratulations to him and congratulations to to Alareza and to uh, Pranav as well. And I get fourth, which is a decent result, but uh, considering uh, considering uh, that I was leading the entire fucking tournament, you know, <laughs> it's a bit disappointing. <laughs>